Here's a quick look at the new Vintage Collection 501st Trooper. So here it is, VC240 in the Vintage Collection line. This thing has been long awaited by so many people. It's been a while since we've got the chance to get a good 3 and 3 quarter 501st Trooper, and it looks like now is finally the time for that. Looking at the card back here, I'm honestly not sure how to feel about it. They've released a lot of figures from the Clone Wars on these card backs, and they always used to adapt it into a realistic style for the image. They did that with Anakin, with Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, with Rex, Wolf, the other clones that we've been getting. They'll always draw the card back or Photoshop the card back in a realistic style. Here it looks like they just ripped an image right out of the Clone Wars and didn't really do any work to try to make it look realistic. It still has the stylization of the Clone Wars all over it. I do like the composition of it, I do like how it looks, but it, it feels a little inconsistent with what we've been getting. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up so we can get a closer look at the figure. I have to say this thing is pretty cool. It uses the body that was introduced with VC-45 all the way back then with the Phase 1 Trooper. They've been using that body ever since, and it holds up pretty well. One thing that I really like about this, and the paint job specifically on this, is how it's weathered and chipped. This isn't exactly dirty, but it doesn't look brand new. The face sculpt on this is amazing. Nothing special, no tattoos or markings on this or anything, but it looks great. I'm so glad that they keep reusing this sculpt for clone troopers because it really does allow for some great poses. If there's any downside to it on these phase two troopers, it's that the helmet is a little oversized compared to the body. The body is pretty skinny proportionally, but doesn't look that bad on its own. When you have a removable helmet over a head like you do on these figures, then it starts to look a little weird when that helmet is on and it's so big. It comes with two types of blasters, the kind that we see in episode two and then episode three. And these still have the issue that some of them have been having where they're a little soft, rubbery, bendy. So just be careful when you pose them in your figure's hand, make sure that they're lined up pretty straight. But once you have it in a position you like, these things things look great. If you can get two of them or three of them or a ton of them and put all of them together, they will look amazing. If you would like to see more from this figure and other figures, vehicles, and play sets from across the Star Wars lines, go ahead and check out the Jedi Collector on Instagram. Link will be in the description. And we'll see you in the next video for a look at the new vintage collection Ahsoka Tano.